Hi and welcome to a new episode of Dr. 64. What do we have today on the treatment table? A Commodore SEPCP 250 425. What's wrong with it? Ooh, garbage on the screen. Some ideas what the root cause is? Yes, Jan Beta, what's your opinion? Ah, okay. Yes, Mr. Adrian Black? Ah, good idea. Ah, Mr. Mindflare Retro? Yes, you are all right. If you search the internet for C64 scrambled screen, you often find a RAM error. Hopefully my self-made C64 dead test cartridge will confirm that. Okay then, let's try it out. Switch to power on. Okay, flashing two times. A quick look in the dead test cartridge manual shows flashing two times means the bad RAM chip is U24. Let's try piggybacking a new RAM chip onto the bad one. If you do this, be careful that the new RAM chip has a good contact. I also measured with my oscilloscope and tried to find out if the signals on the bad RAM chip look different to the good ones. But they look all similar, so no chance to find the bad RAM chip only with an oscilloscope. Mm, okay, looks good so far. Our new RAM chip doesn't have a notch, it has a point on pin 1. Take care of that. By the way, you can find such DRAM chips on eBay. Okay, okay, nothing flashing. Seems good so far, seems good so far. And yes, it works. Okay, then let's solder a socket in and place a new RAM chip into it. Power on again. Try it again with the dead test cartridge. It takes some seconds and then yeah, okay, it works. I will skip here and will show you the results. Sound test was also okay, sound was hearable. So another C64 is back to life. But let's see if it works in the original C64 mode without the dead test cartridge. And yeah, also works fine. Great! Today it was a quick repair. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Your Dr. 64.